Hey guys, what's going on? This is uh, my first video on this channel for everything Nintendo, and I figured I'd start off with showing off the things that are on my Wii U. Um, my nickname for the channel is going to be Spectrum, and if any of you have been following the stuff I post or whatever, you'll know that's kind of what my uh, screen name is for, or my Miiverse ID. Anyway, let's do this real quick. Uh, first up is Super Mario 3D World. It's, it's the disc that's in the system right now. Um, next, I have Wind Waker HD uh, digital version. I also have it physical because I have the, sta the limited edition statue in the box. And then Trine 2, I have honestly haven't played it that much. Nano Assault Neo is really good if you like twin stick shooters. Next up, we've got Pokemon Rumble U, which is the first Nintendo Wii U game to use the NFC figures. I've actually ha I actually have all of them. If uh, you want to, I can show them off in another uh, video. I've actually collected the entire set of figures. All right, and then uh, after the Wii channel, there's the NES Remix One, NES Remix Two. If you're a diehard Nintendo fan, like I know a lot of you guys are you should have both of these. These are excellent games. They are worth the $15 a piece. The 30 bucks for both of them. They are worth it. A lot of really good mini mini challenges in some of your favorite games and then the remix challenges really tosses things up. I can't say anything anything bad about these two games. I mean, people will knock them for being, you know, cheap for being too expensive for what they are. I think they're worth every dime. So if you're a diehard Nintendo fan, go pick, go download these. Next up is Dr. Luigi, a fantastic. Uh, I basically consider it another Dr. Mario. It's the same thing. The L operation mode is nice. Um, I don't. I honestly don't play it that much to really say anything bad about it. I mean, it, it's kind of like Tetris 2. If you ever played that for the uh, Super Nintendo, I believe. Um, where it had the weird shaped tetris tetramites or whatever uh it's kind of like that but there's also the retro way to play dr mario except with luigi because it's it was the year of luigi and it capped off the year of luigi with this gem i really enjoy it you should have that here ducktales remastered really awesome game if you like the capcom capcom original uh the the uh, remake was really well done i just wish they cut down on the cutscenes a little bit and then we have Wii Sports Club. I actually don't own any of the games in the in the set, but every now and then I play. A, uh, I pay a little bit to play tennis every now and then. And then Wii Fit U. I actually own a Wii Balance Board, so I got Wii Fit U for free. It's a really fun game. Me and my wife like that. All right, and here we're gonna start into Virtual Console. So pretty much the next like page or, page and a half is Virtual Console. First up, Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario World, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Advance 3, and Super Metroid. It's like all these games are just fantastic. If you don't have these on your Wii U, what's what's wrong with you? Um Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. And Kirby's Adventure, Kirby Superstar. Kirby's Dream Land 3, Kirby's Dream Course, Yoshi, which is an underrated puzzle game. If you can get the hang of the mechanics, the game is actually pretty addictive. Advance Wars, which is like the closest thing to Fire Emblem right now on the Wii U until uh, Fire Emblem Cross Shin Megami Tensei, which I hope is mostly a Fire Emblem game, to be honest with you. But I love strategy RPGs, so you should check this out if you missed out on the Game Boy Advance. F Zero, Earthbound, which is phenomenal, one of the best RPGs ever made. I don't know why, um, why we haven't gotten Mother Three. But if you've been curious about the roots of NES, pick the di download this. Really fantastic. Mario Brothers, which has been like ported a dozen times. Donkey Kong which is, you know, classic barrel throwing Donkey Kong. Punch-Out. Really awesome. I love this game. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. 
And then we have Super Ghouls and Ghosts, which is really freaking tough because it was made to take your quarters. Um, I'll admit it, I only got through the game using save states because I'm a wuss. Uh, balloon Fight, really fun game. Uh, I get bored of it after a little while, but you know, it's kind of. I, I usually play Balloon Trip to see how far I can get. Mega Man, there's. It's an Mega Man. I mean, it's awesome. Mega Man X was even better. I'm a bigger fan of X than I am the original Mega Man series. And then uh, these I haven't really touched that much, to be honest with you. It's uh, Block Drop U, uh, Rush, Edge. Uh, Toki Tori is actually really fun. My wife likes to play that a lot. And I watched her play it. It's kind of a really cool little puzzle platformer kind of game. And... Like, the reason why I have these is because these are all pr really cheap on the eShop. They're like $2 a piece. And, uh, Toki Tori's worth it, I think. Um, I actually have played Edge. You navigate this cube in a, through a labyrinth, and, like, it can only... And, like, there's, like, platforms that move back and forth. And a three-dimensional plane It's kind of weird, but it's really fun. Um, I haven't played these two yet, to be honest with you. I've been kind of slacking on that. And I think that about, yeah, that about does it. I mean, everything else is pretty much, you know, apps. And I never use Wii U Chat because it's weird. Um, Animal Crossing Plaza. Even though I like Animal Crossing, I don't really use it that much. And yeah, that's it. So that's my Wii U digital content collection. If you have any questions or if you, actually, if you want... Let me know if you want me to do a Let's Play. I'll do a Let's Play on any games that you see on my Wii U. Um, just shoot me comments and I'll do some Let's Plays. And I'll catch you guys later.